Whoa, she's pregnant. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the scenarios. So, I think we just about finished. I'm excited to get to the end of this one. This has been a really long one, this parenting predicament. So, I think we're on, what, episode 8? So, you know, it's taken a wee while to get through this one. Um, I guess there's been a lot of predicament in the parenting side of things. But, basically, I think we just have to complete the teenage aspiration for Leonardo. I guess we'll see. I think I'm getting a cold. I'm going to grab something hot. No, I don't want to. Um, so, Leonardo is going to be continue to be our focus. He was our focus last episode, but what are you doing, mate? You need to go get some sleep. So, we are currently... We just need to do homework five times and then go on a first date. So we were going to go on a date with Sophia. So we have a little bit of a plan and uh, we'll see how this, where this takes us once we get these little uh, things um, done. So Sophia here, she needs some fun, but we're working on that while she's eating and she needs to socialize. So who she, can she ask on a date? Hmm. Definitely no one romantic. Uh, she doesn't really know anyone. Oh, uh, yeah, no, she definitely doesn't know anyone. Okay, so we need to send Sophia out to meet someone. Oh, my. Oh, that poor, unsocialized little girl. Uh, that'll be my fault. And look, if worse comes to worse, uh, with me finding a teenager to date, I will just skip through this weekend come back on Monday and we will go to high school and we will meet someone that way maybe we could go and practice our guitar playing and see if anyone turns up uh, what's the time it's only 9 p.m. surely there's gonna be like teenagers on a Friday night down at the pier in Copperdale come on there's gotta be surely and maybe I've scared everyone away with my guitar playing but Come on, teenagers, where are you? Teenagers, where are you? Why, where are they all? Ah, oh, there's no teenagers. How am I gonna seduce someone? I mean, not seduce, date someone. Because I'm a teenager, I can't go around seducing people. But I am a teenager and I can go around dating people. I'm sure getting pretty good at the guitar, but. Oh, no teenagers. Hang on. That's not a teenager. Are you a teenager? Young adult. Mm. You can. So find a teenage romantic interest for Sophia or Leonardo and ask them out on a date. Teens can start to develop romantic feelings for other teenage sims, which can be seen in the relationship panel. So yeah, I need to go. I, I was right for once. I do need to date another teenager. Um, I was right eventually but the problem is where are all the teenagers it's like we've been here for three hours and there's not a teenager in sight I mean where are they all home studying what what is wrong with these teenagers I don't even know any okay we're gonna have to skip the weekend and go to school so I'm gonna come back on Monday okay so I got bored uh, waiting for <laughs> As you can see, it's like Saturday 3 p.m. And I got bored waiting for the Monday to come around. No, I don't want to go there. I finally found a teenager. Uh, so it is a fan of whoever that was over there who's been photographed. And I found Alexander Goff as well. So I am like, yes. I'm going to talk to these teens and I am going to crudely compliment appearance. <laughs> yes, I want to do that and uh, try and get myself a date because yeah I figured I'm currently in San Sequoia library because I figured what's another place that teenagers can hang out and since in the library was kind of one of those places that made sense oh he liked that Alexander Goth you're a little easy aren't you so let's do uh let's change numbers is she on flirty no way hang on Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Um. All right. Well, he's he's not into us, but I think Alexander wasn't too bad. <laughs> oh man! Of 
course she's unflirty. I don't want to have to do Leonardo because he gets two things then and I want to give Sophia a chance to, you know, live in the spotlight a little bit. Uh, she's very angry, of course she is. Um, <laughs> sarcastic compliment. Maybe he won't get it. Maybe he'll think it's an actual compliment. Let's apologise. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I do want to go on a date with you. Let's just maybe be friendly. <laughs> this is going badly. She's on flirty! Oh, this is this is just like got a little bit trickier. <laughs> oh no. Why are you so hard? Why are you so hard scenario? <sighs> okay, he doesn't like this is gonna be oh no um you know what i might just have to focus on leonardo and just see since we've got some teenagers here where did they go i know what i can do so i will just switch back to her and then she can invite those other two back so uh hideki and alexander so let's get her to do that and then i'll get Le i'll just check that he's not unflirty as well because that's just gonna be a nightmare he's mean but he's not unflirty okay so that's something at least so let's get those other two back and just see if we can connect with either of those two with leonardo and we can see about our first date Oh, I didn't think this was going to be that hard, but yeah, adding that unflirty option to um, Sophia was a sneaky move, man. So sneaky. Where are these dudes? Oh, that's Johnny. Oh, there we go. There's Hideki. Uh, oh, we're already friends. Okay. Um, friendly. What? I don't want to purchase an animal. What? 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 Give props. Okay. Uh, share photos. Tell joke about engineers. Come on, Leo. You can do it. We can see if we can get our flirt on here and go on a date with Hideki. We'll see whether or not he can, he takes to us. Doesn't hate us at this stage, so I mean that's something at least. I'm flattered, but I'm not interested in that type of relationship with you. Ugh. Okay, where did Alexander Goff go? Pause. Adult. Teen. Okay. All right. Let's go. Funny introduction. Sorry, Hideki. I'm happy to be friends with you, but we have no time to wait. So we've got to go on a date. It's dating time. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. No, stop talking to them. No. We want to talk to her. Funny introduction. Come on, Leo. You can do it. Sophia, what? Uh, no. Sorry, we are busy on this lot at the moment. Okay, there we go. Let's just keep being funny. Maybe we can work on that. And perhaps, perhaps, perhaps we can turn it flirty. That would be nice. I'm not asking you to do these things. Why are you doing these things? Not purchasing animals and going on social bunny. No, we're going to skip prom. Okay, so let's just... Uh, I'm going to do like a little bit more friendly stuff. And get that green up a little bit. Why is this tricky, man? Um, ask about hobbies and skills. Oh, okay. There was a little green heart there, so that's a plus. It's rave about growing up. I wish that lady would go away. Go away, lady. Ask about mess around interests. So let's now try a little bit of flirty. So she just likes cooking. Okay, so uh, what about if we do ask a single? She might tell us something about her, where her interests, and whether or not she has interest in us. I want to flirt, but it's not that we're definitely not close enough to see my preferences with you. Okay. Billy is single. Okay, that's a good start, I guess. I mean, not that it really matters in The Sims, but it might help a little bit. I don't have to overcome the whole she's in a relationship kind of thing. 
Okay, yay! We've got some pink. We've got some pink. All right, exchange numbers. Uh, is it enough pink to go out on a date? Uh, ask on a date. Maybe that's too early. Ooh, what if she says no? Oh, no. Maybe we don't want to do that. Maybe we want to get a little bit more pink happening before we ask on a date. So let's uh, smooth recovery. And blow a kiss. Maybe we could do a bold pickup line because we're all confident. Okay. Then we've got a positive there. Positive, positive. Oh, oh, she's not too uh, unhappy about that. Uh, bold pickup line. Okay. I think she's liking us. We might be on the right track here. Um, compliment mighty fine garb. And I think we might be... Maybe... Oh, we're ready for our first kiss already. No, don't go, don't go, don't go. No, 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 no. Talk to her. Tell a tale of the sea. Don't go. Ah. Oh, these people that are going and going and going. Um, invite and Billy Jang. Oh, is that Barco's daughter? Oh, look at her. She jazzed up a little bit. Uh, first kiss. Let's see whether or not we can get our first kiss and then we can go on a date. <gasps> Yay! Okay, so let's go. Oh, we're probably pretty hungry, so a date with food would be good. Yay! All right, so we're at the Hare and Hedgehog in... Um, Winterberg at the moment because it's just I'm in the Windenburg at the moment I don't know why um, probably because I haven't played with it that much and I've decided that yes I want to play with that so this is what I'm doing she's just figuring stuff out fantastic this is not a bad thing uh, reveal crush oh being romantic embrace and he needs to get flirty. He needs to get his flirt on. Ugh, talk like a pirate day's pain in the bottom. Okay, yes, we're gonna end there early, so then I can tell what I'm doing. I actually generally don't mind uh, talk like a pirate day most of the time, but when I can't tell what my interactions are, I do have a problem with it. Okay, so we're on a date and we've got our tick there. So all we need to do is complete our aspiration for Leonardo. Now, I did get another um, homework option come up. Um, so maybe we could do <laughs> do some extra credit work on their date. <laughs> That's a bit lame. Oh, very flatter. She likes us. Oh. He's not getting flirty though. It's all too confident to be flirty. Old hands. Okay, so we've done that. So let's sit and talk. Uh, where's two chairs? Sit together? Oh, sit and chat here. Oh, I'll sit together first. He's not getting flirty at all. And she's like super flirty. And he's like, no flirty. No flirty. Sit together. Okay, there we go. And then we can have a chat. Talk about marriage! He's not even flirty! Sure, she can be his girlfriend. I think that would be sweet. Aww. She's like, yay! Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> um, I'm going to change his outfit because I don't like his outfit. He can be in <laughs> this outfit, I think. It's full, but I think he can get away with it. Oh, you're hungry. Maybe we should get some food. Oh, and you need to go to the bathroom. Okay. So, why don't you kiss her and then exchange promise rings? Oh, how sweet. Let's do that. So many things I haven't done as teenagers. <laughs> I'm the worst. Ah, uh, no, she can go by herself. No one likes Jennifer. Blech. Finally, he got flirty! Um, are they going to exchange promise rings? Kiss hands? Oh, there we go. Uh, 
Juanita. I don't want to go back with Jennifer. Oh, she can come back here. <laughs> what are they doing? Um, this is the oddest kiss I've ever seen. <laughs> can they not get close to each other or something? something to eat mate and then we can probably attempt to seduce our date Ooh, I think that'll be fun so where are you off to the blue okay go to the bathroom and then we might have some food here we go what's this food let's just eat that it's just sitting there let's eat it <laughs> why not <laughs> oh dear um what do we need? So we need to joke with our date and attempt to seduce our date. So inside joke. And where's your baby, Jennifer? I don't even know where the baby is. Must be at home. Uh, something weird going on, but anywho, whatever. Sure, dad's home with the baby. It'll be fine. Yeah, thanks, mum. You come on my date. It's cool. What ifs? Just cramping my style. Don't worry about it, Mum. Okay, so we're doing joke. One out of three. I don't think we're going to do too well on our date. <laughs> I did try. Mostly. Mostly I just laughed at whatever weird glitch was happening. Okay, so two out of three. Three out of three. Yay! And have some deep conversations. Okay, we can probably do that. Uh, deep thoughts conversation. Jennifer, you can just like go away. If I could send you home I would, but for some reason you're not gonna go home. Oh, probably because of the date thing. All good. What do you mean you can't go? Would you just go over here? Go away. Go away, woman. Okay, and you gotta have some more. No. Friendly, deep thoughts, deep conversation. I don't think we're going to get anything close to gold, unfortunately. I think we did all right. We did all right. So let's go home. We've done that part of it all, but we need to now um, do a couple more homeworks, and I think Leo should be good. So I am curious whether or not doing extra credit work will um, account as homework. So let's see whether or not it does, because if it does, that's going to be super helpful. Ah, it doesn't. Bah, humbug. Okay, so I'm going to send him to bed, and we might actually come back on Monday morning, because I don't think anything's really, there's not much else I can do until Monday, as far as this homework and stuff goes. So let's do that. Alrighty, so Leonardo is almost home. So let's see about what happens after we do our next range of, uh, next range, next a lot of homework, uh, what our next aspiration goals are. Milestone complete! Okay, so, uh -huh. earn and keep an A, attend career, I don't want to do all of these things. Okay, <sighs> what's the easiest of all the aspirations? Okay, let's try this. Uh, uh, this is the never-ending one. Okay, well, uh, you know what? Let's cheat it because I just, I, I think we've got the point, right? We don't need to, where are we? No choices. Because I think, you know, we've kind of got the point of what the, what the, what the thing is. And I'm just going to be here forever trying to do an aspiration. And I don't want to be here for to, forever to do an aspiration. Um so there so we are just going to cheat this one and see what happens okay scenario completed well done we did it so the Ma <laughs> sort of the Martinese family has received the following awards for completing the parenting predicament scenario racing Sophia and Leonardo into teenagers inspire Pablo and Jennifer to try parenting all over again from the start 
So Pablo and Jennifer, once young Lanfu, is overwhelmed with the responsibility of raising children, have matured tremendously, and just in time too, since it turns out that Jennifer is not only pregnant, but expecting twins. <laughs> <laughs> Their journey as parents is just beginning, but luckily they have the know-how to raise amazing children. Pablo has even developed the seldom sleepy trait, which will definitely come in handy. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to give the scenarios a little pause for a while. They will be coming back, but um, I want to continue to do the a bit more of the 100 horses challenge and um yeah enjoy that for a little while so we're going to put these as an area on pause for a little bit um, but they will be coming back probably after the 100 horses um challenge has finished so keep checking back in on i think wednesdays it is most wednesdays anyway um for more of the 100 horses thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye